All right, here we go. Question number six from our 1316 homework number three in my lab math. And they want us to find the exact value, if any, of the following composite function. Do not use a calculator, but we are going to use a calculator to check, okay? So we're going to start by copying this problem down. We've got the inverse sine of the sine of 5 pi over 8. And we know that if you take the inverse sine of the sine of an angle, if you're taking uh, the composition of a fu trig function with its inverse trig function, those are going to cancel. And this angle will be the answer as long as it's within the acceptable range of values, okay? So we know that for inverse sine, we are restricted to angles from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, okay? This angle theta, if it's correct, is going to have to be within this range of values. So the question is, is 5 pi over 8 between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2? So we're going to say uh, negative 4 pi over 8 less than or equal to 5 pi over 8 less than or equal to 4 pi over 8. So what I did there is I converted these fractions to have a, a common denominator so that I can effectively compare these fractions. And I know that 5 pi over 8 is definitely greater than or equal to negative 4 pi over 8, but it is not less than or equal to 4 pi over 8. So this 5 pi over 8 is not going to be the answer. So I'm going to have to find an appropriate reference angle that will produce the same value as 5 pi over 8. So let's look over here in the unit circle. Pi over 2 is the same as 4 pi over 8. So I know that 5 pi over 8 would be a little bit past 4 pi over 8, okay? So that's going to put me into the second quadrant. Now, what is the value of sine in the second? Remember, sine is y. In the second quadrant, y is positive, okay? So now I'm going to have to think, well, what would be an equivalent angle from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 that will produce the same y-coordinate as 5 pi over 8? All right, so again, thinking about this, if y is has to be positive, then we know that the fourth quadrant is out because all of these y values are negative and that won't produce the uh, same value as 5 pi over 8. So we're now restricted to the first quadrant and an appropriate reference angle, if I do that in green, would be right here. Okay, notice it's going to be the same amount from the y-axis in both directions. So whatever this angle theta is here is going to be the angle I'm looking for. Okay, so again, let's think about this. This angle is at 5 pi over 8. So I want to know how many pi over 8s would it take to get around to pi? Okay, so pi is 8 pi over 8. So from 5 pi over 8 to 8 pi over 8, how many eighths is that? 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so that would be 3 pi over 8. That would be my reference angle. And so that means that this angle over here, the equivalent angle, would be 3 pi over 8. So my answer here is going to be 3 pi over 8. That's going to be the answer that I'm looking for.
Man, that's a long explanation. Let's see if the calculator verifies what I said. So we're going to input the inverse sine of the sine of 5 pi over 8. And we're going to hope that it gives us an answer of 3 pi over 8. Whew, which it does. And so we know that answer is now correct. Now let's put it in my lab math and see if it likes it. As a fraction, that's going to be 3 pi over 8. And we're done. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.